Today is Friday, March 19. My name is Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from Philippians chapter 4, where Paul writes this, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians chapter 4, verses 12 and 13. Some of us have had the experience over this pandemic time of being run ragged, laid off, fighting over too little technology and bandwidth, juggling work and school at home, just scraping by. Others of us have seen a boost in our bottom line, enjoyed the freedom and flexibility of working from home have discovered the perks of connecting with family far away through video chats and have enjoyed the leisure of more downtime. In other words, some of us have lived in plenty and some of us have lived in want. The pandemic has not impacted all of us the same. And that's true for our neighbors too. Paul seems to think there's a common thread that runs through both of these experiences, however. Some of us are absolutely anxious and harried when the storms rage, the future is uncertain, and the bank account low. Others have an odd peace when those things are true. Some of us have peace when the bank account is full, and life seems otherwise picture perfect. And others are absolutely anxious and harried by that reality. What Paul has noticed is that the externals of our life no matter how bad or good, how hard or easy, how plentiful or wanting, are not the final arbiter of our internal reality. There is a secret to being content in any and every situation. Though it's not much of a secret, the secret is Christ. It's shortly before this that Paul pens his famous words, Rejoice and entrust everything to God in prayer. And, he says, The peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. From that peace that passes understanding comes the discovery that we can face down any challenge of this life, of plenty or want, of joy or of sorrow, through him who gives us strength. Because our life and security against the future are not ultimately determined by the stuff we have, the stuff we do or don't do, or even the stuff that we can see. Our hope for the future is in Christ. Our peace is given and secured by him. Not even a pandemic has shaken the reality of his loving work for us. It remains firm. Our place with God is secure. So today, give thanks to God and ask for his peace. It's strange but it's enough. And as you journey on, go with the blessing of God. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.